So in this section, we're gonna talk about how to turn more of your leads into patients. I wanna tell you a story. When we first started working with our first sleep doctor, all the things that we have talked about worked incredibly well in driving leads right off the bat. Building a sleep brand, having a great optimized marketing foundation and Google business page, running Google ads, writing great content, doing SEO. All of these things work to drive hundreds of patients for our sleep doctor almost right away. And so we review the results every month. We were recording all the calls, looking at all the forms. We knew everything was quality, that all the leads really wanted sleep treatment and were actually genuinely interested in getting treatment for their sleep apnea. And so we'd go to our doctor at our monthly meetings, high-fiving, really confident, really excited to show our, our client the results. And we go through everything, he would listen. And eventually what happened was he, he would look at our results and he would say, you know, guys, I, I see all your numbers. I see the names of the people that you're driving to me. The problem is I've only delivered one appliance this month and only delivered one appliance last month too. So I don't really know what the problem is here, but guys, we, we, gotta, we gotta figure out what's wrong and fix it or else we're not gonna be able to continue doing this. Now this was stunning to us. We had never had this problem before. All the leads did make sense. There was no reason why people shouldn't be moving forward. And what we could have done, like so many other marketing agencies have, is basically just give up on sleep, consider it a client problem, and move on to something easier. But instead, what we did was build all the tools and systems and strategies that we're about to talk about in this next section, it helps you turn all these leads into patients, and talk about why in sleep that is such a unique challenge relative to other industries, such as dentistry. So let's get into it.